There are no purifiers in the hands of Team Liquid, man. That is dangerous. This is a, a Minotaur in the hands of Keyboy, right? It might be more aggressive than you would expect. Man likes to make plays. And we talked about how the Valentina in the hands of Sonic can still play make, so they gotta be really careful here without a safety net. Here we go. The cavalry now looking to recharge the Sky Kings. Will they be able to fight back or will the Sky Kings conclude it with the 2 0 in the opening match of MPL ID Season 14? It's a weakness finder on the Roger, by the way. Mm -hmm. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen, if King Gugun on the Joy can try to equalize this. Now we have another Assassin versus Assassin jungle matchup. Last time it was a Marksman earlier in game number one. So Kabuki, weakness finder, by the way, yeah? going for the weakness finder instead of the QC that we see a lot from as well. Definitely going for something a bit more aggressive. Attempting to really get the better of uh, super aggressive of CW in the lane, but ooh, then top side of the range is already popped. Which Vengeance? Luffy's Vengeance or James's Vengeance? <laughs> Nobody knows, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Richie also recognizes the danger, though. Going for the tenacity, even though he's on the mage, I think it's a wise move. I do that myself when I'm playing mages against a, against a Harith, against a Nolan, more, um, more, more importantly. I think Kyrie on the Nolan here will have a lot of free rate to go up around, because who can really stop him right here? Maybe the, 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 the stun from James, maybe? No way the final is going to be used for a solo target. And for the Vexana, there are ways for Kyrie to outplay and dodge away from those spells, man. But look at Yowie! That's a flicker onward, and the Earth Shatter into the Electrifying Beats, and this time it's James who claims first blood. So, TL still playing advantage, but Rugen is keeping up really, really well. Yeah. No. Could be to go take for both teams. It's fanatic Onyx. This time around, they have enough damage, but looking for a play is Yaoli. For Shadow Onward, and now they combo together the final smash and Eternal Guard takes CC. Keyboy taken down. Goku still winning the retreat battle despite it all. Defenders by Luffy so giving damage right now. As Kabuki jumps in the Lycan Pounce, steals damage, okay. and takes Luffy out, but now gets caught all alone. Tries to go to the Lycan Pounce, CW gets rid of him. Good, good. Re engaging. And Richie trying to get that Terrify down to winning fight for Fanatic Onyx, and now they go on Richie. Fracture. Not enough to take him down. Not just yet. Go, good. Forcing. Kyrie to back away. Fight for Fnatic Onic. Objective for Liquid. Gugun is relentless, and so is Kabuki, but Kabuki in too deep with that pounce, and he gets punished for that. And if you let your guard down, this time around, Fnatic Onic can just burst you down with the damage they have. All in. Onic make a play for the fiddle once more. I think this time they have a problem, they're pushing Kabuki with the back. Mm -hmm. Taking back control of the game, it's a 1,000 gold lead. Wave push here. The shove in the mid lane from Kabuki as they set up for a neutral objective. And still it's Lippy who's holding it down. Everybody else more concerned about the setup first. They have to set this up as well. And we're talking about how Fnatic Onyx only have one initiation tool, and that will be in Keyboy and Sand. Pretend he needs a good ultimate. He has to have a rush on the final flash though. Now Big Lippy who gets chased. He has a vengeance down. Oh, Keyboy jumps him in his fury, catches the ball. And now Kabuki even with electrifying beats. He can only get Sugan to run away. Kabuki goes in. Wait for the Minotaur. I don't think that's worth it. Kabuki oh. taken out. Richie's even next to the chopping block. He does have the flicker, but now with the chase, Richie gets out. It's a flicker burnt down. The fanatic on it. The in their own regard, Ooh. in their own pockets now. Having to just deal with the boys. Oh, Stand the damage is insane. Huh. That's ridiculous damage from Sun. Oh, the chains down to a corner of his HP. Let's get all taken. Very, very low. So he's going to find an ultimate Sun. I thought he stole the final side with how far he was able to dash in. But he actually stole the final ride. He was just there to hold him down. And now Fnatic Onik have all the resources necessary to go for the lore. HP so, in one single spell rotation. That is something that you can't really ignore, man. Oh. 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 Steals the Lycan form to dodge away from the final slash. That's that sounds alright. God damn. Complete footwork from Gila Sans. And he is not even stopping his crazy plays so far. Team with ID internal. You can see Sans oh. trying his best to be a nuisance, to be a deterrent. But for the most part, they're kind of zoned away from the turret. Look, look at this. Oh, the device key boy is curry catches him. Now James getting knocked up again, but the turret is still alive. Lippy is caught in the midst of it all. Now oh. Dog and James with a vengeance catches and gets knocked up and disintegrated by Sans. Wow. It was looking so difficult for Fnatic Onyx, they're caught the map. It sort of doesn't feel like it. Now with Team Liquid kind of desperately going to try and get this lore, can they make a play happen here? Or is the spacing of Onyx a bit too much? It doesn't even matter! They burst it down! It's all clouded in covertness for Fnatic Onyx. They get the Lord for themselves, the cavalry weakening. Ooh. Slithering Sands. <laughs> Might be the new nickname given to him here. Good in performance. He has Lord brought up top and he will just... Get a few hits now, Yao with the Primal Wrath, doing a good lot of damage, but people will just see the down in the bottom lane, two carries on it. They are able to deal with the Enhanced Lord, but they lose two base turns in the process. 
Asan's walks forward again, steals with a final wrath. Woo. James is looking for a play here, but Fnatic Onik are just going to wait patiently for the next minion wave to come through. Asan's the splash once again, Keyboy. This Fury and the Flicker only catching James. Yowie. Able to onward backwards again. OTC is really just playing around. King Yogurt decides to go in. Now we're trying to find as well. Also, Lip P, but it seems it only tickles Lip P. He's the oh. one who dealt more damage to Gugan. Oh my goodness. Unstoppable. Fnatic Onyx, they don't lose anything. And, and you know, Team Liquid ID, the pressure so constant towards them. This is looking bleak for Team Liquid ID. There's just no solution right here. If you want to go in, the Minotaur is there. walks in roll! <laughs> Sans is playing around with his food! Wow! And today he's gonna have horse meat! That Topping is not them okay, down. bro. That is just not okay. Sans, what is this man up to, man? Team Liquid. That is some demoralizing stuff. He's still doing it! He does <laughs> just, not care! He was walking to the wall! He didn't even have a destination! <laughs> he was cosplaying as a disconnected player. <laughs> it's just, his controller disconnected. It's just a walk in the park for Sans. What oh, is a man. horse? to a wolf and is able to just feast down on the players of Team Liquid ID. This is just passive pressure now, passive dominance coming in from Fnatic Onyx. Team Liquid ID, clueless on what they have to do to neutralize the threat coming in from Fnatic Onyx. A fight down by, oh, Kabuki. Look for him back to the same thing. Harry's still chasing, going for Fracture, forcing Kabuki to go all the way to the fountain. But it turns off the final stack, just placing and Keyboy now pops it up in his fury. Oh. Keyboy finds five, all five on the cavalry. Insanity all around, and the Sky King still asserting their dominance locally. This time around, a good start to open up the match in MPL ID Season 14. They take the 2 0 against Team Look at ID. Man, Keyboy goes where he pleases. Keyboy smash five <laughs> members up in the air. How do you deal with that? He even built the fleeting time, by the way, towards the end. That man wants some action. You thought this was a defensive Minotaur? Think again, man. You're a cavalry? How do you run when you're up in the air, bro? The Sky Kings take him out mid-air.